all right. So if any of you out there are wondering what mid-range should I get, maybe you're looking at Innova. These are the three, pretty much, I guess, the most popular mids. My newest one, the Wombat 3, 175 grams. I love the way this disc flies. Of course, the Rock 3. Champion Plastic, this is 180 grams. And this is also Champion Plastic, by the way. And then my Mako 3, 172 grams, and this is the Star Plastic. So at the end of this video, hopefully, I'll give you some good info on the flights, how far they go, and you can decide on which one you want, which one would be best for you, or maybe you want all three, because I throw all three. So, let's get at it. I'm just gonna do a standstill throw, see how they fly. I got a little tailwind, just a little breeze. Okay, here's the Mako 3, and directly across is the Rock and the Wombat. These two definitely faded left more than that Mako, and it also might have been the way I threw it. There's the Wombat. Rock is right here. I was throwing from back in there. All right, here we go. Wombat three. probably have noticed is I'm in a different location and this place is like a swamp all wet right here we didn't even get into the course yet some of those such a chains or I gotta I gotta get a boat <laughs> all right for this last set of throws I'm gonna do a small run-up All right, so here's the first tee pad, and huh, we got a mailbox. Let's see if we got any mail. Pencils and a rubber band. All right, so they recently put these in. Um, beggars can't be choosers. It's better than standing here in mud. They are small. They should have been out maybe about here to give you a better run up. These are more, <laughs> I mean, you could do one back here, start back here like this. But if it's wet and you go and put the brakes on here to whip it, you might slide. As you can hear my, my look, my feet are wet now and it's slippery. So anyway, this is chain set one, hole one, and it is directly in front of us. Right there. Thanks to that tree. The rock, I'm going to put it out in a little anhyzer. The Mako is another very straight flyer. Not the rock. 5500. Zero, zero. 
Okay, so there's the chains. So the wombat went straight. And thanks to this tree kind of kicked it in. So let me shake its hand. Thank you, sir. You're very kind. The other straight flyer, Mako 3. And then, of course, we got the Rock 3 over there, which does have a lot more fade. All right, I forget how far this is. They don't have any plaques here. They don't have any maps. I did go on U-Disc. Pretty much all these are par three, except for the last set. I, mean, I think this is like, I wanna say 240. It's right out there in the middle. Wombat three. Now I have a headwind coming straight at me. Probably do a run up on this one, huh? It's not enough room. Stand here, this whole coming off the dirt, down on the dirt, missing this thing. No. Was way too high. Rock. All right, so in defense of the Wombat, this was a bad throw, very early release. We got the rock right there. So pretty, check this out, right? They're all in a line. All in a line. So let's grab this. This my bag, falls off my shoulder. We walk straight ahead. The rock. Right here. Right here is the Mako. All three in line. There's the chains. That was pretty cool. And I was teeing off from. Right, here's the next one and they are right there this is tricky there's like a try to creek bed or something in there so I'm gonna have to put the rock up and have it kind of fade in but the Mako and the Wombat, I should be able to go straight on with it. So let's get to it. Wombat 3. Oh man, that was not good. And by design, the wombat is understable. Negative one. Now 
got to go uh, <laughs> play hide and go seek with the Wombat 3. So there's the Rock 3, Mako 3, chains are right there. Wombat is down in there. I'm going to go dig it out. There it is. It's just like ticking snake heaven in here. Say snake and all of a sudden every every twig on the ground, every branch looks like one. Yeah. She saved. This thing actually looks like something that would live in grass like this. <laughs> Alright, we're moving on. So we'll take the shortcut. The scenic route. Now this is the one that's like a swamp. So they had to put a raised tea pad in here because it's, it's actually kind of drying up a little bit. But it is swampy. Now there are no markers, like I stated earlier. There's no map. I have, wait a minute. Oh, this is five. Par three, like I said, 150 feet. I'm hoping that's the old marker fort right there on the ground here. Take a look. Tell me what you think. Looks about right. And you don't have any room to run up here. I mean, it's literally this behind you. And you can stand here and just burn it right at it, which I'm going to do. A little bit too much on it. Rock three. Back to the ground. And the makeup. See where they went? So yeah, as I stated, it's like a swamp in some of these areas. Oh, come on. This is why you never wear nice shoes when you play disc golf. So there you have it. Rock landed right here. Mako right there. And right there is the Wombat. All within striking distance. Now look at this. Is this anybody's ever here? It's still here. We found this the other day. It's one of them Contigo, Contigo, whatever it is, coffee things. It's probably got COVID all over it. Ugh, gross. Look behind me. I can only imagine how much poison ivy is in here in the summertime. Look at all that. Of course, it's not growing now. It's a little too early for it, but I get it bad, really bad. It's one downfall of this golf in Pennsylvania when you have stuff like that. All right. So all in all, I like all three discs. That's why I bought them. Uh, actually, yesterday, I got a Discraft Big Z Zone, or Zone, duh, drone. I do want to get some more from Discraft and Dynamic Discs and do a little shootout between all the different brands. But these three here, I love them all. And you can see they pretty much, well, the Wombat and the Mako are very similar. The Wombat is a negative one, so it's a little understable compared to the Mako being a 5500. It's pretty much stable. Uh, the Rock 3 flies great. It's got a lot more fade, a lot more glide as well. So I really have no complaints at all. 
at all. It's just a comparison video. And what I'm gonna do right now, and yeah, I'm hiking my butt off. We're all the way over there. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put them on out, some hyzers and some anhyzers, and let you see how they, how they fly, how they work. See if they fight out of them. So we're, we are here in this, in this field again. Time to get back at it, boom. Now it's time to put them on some hyzer and some anhyzer. First up, anhyzer. Wombat three. They're calling for rain today, and you can see it coming in now. It's getting dark. The wind is blowing this way. Probably helping these Anheuser shots. One more time, Anheuser. Now, that was, uh, yeah, that's been there for a couple of days. Oh, damn. So that light breeze is uh, <laughs> turned into a, almost a steady wind. Now we're gonna do hyzer shots. And the wind coming this way, I'm gonna fight against it. Right, you know what time it is. Flyby time. Mako was soaring. So there you have it. Little uh, mid-range head-to-head -head battle with three Innova discs. I got nothing bad to say about any of them. After all, that's why I bought all three of them. So let's get into this thing. The first one was the Wombat 3. My newest disc out of all of them. And the flight rating... Five, six, negative one, and a zero. Now, the one thing about this, it is by design a little understable. That means you throw it out, it has a tendency to go like this if you put enough speed behind it. 
before it fades left. If you noticed on some of my throws, when that wind hit this thing head on, it made it shoot off to the right really hard, like it was super understable. And matter of fact, that one where I had to kind of go play hide and go seek with this, it never even attempted to try to fight out of it. It just, the wind caught it and just forced it this way. If you don't have a wicked headwind and it's kind of like a gentle breeze, this thing literally, it's a point and shoot. You just point it where you want to go and and just bury it where you, wherever you want it to go. In between trees, you know, it, do, it doesn't matter. Wherever your target is, it's a very straight flyer. And it goes. It definitely, you can put some distance on with this. And one thing to note about this, like the first time I put one in hand, it's just, it's got like this different, like a different uh, rim here. It's it compared like the Mako. It's like bulkier on the bottom. It's like more rounded. And I just, it, it felt kind of odd at first when I, you know, first time I put it in my hand, but I liked it. Then I threw it and I was like, whoa, I got to get one of these. So that's your Wombat. A very good disc. Next one up would be the Mako 3. Um, a real quick, this Wombat is 175 grams. This is 172 grams. This is a very stable disc. Its flight ratings 5500. You can get some good distance with, th with this thing. It, it, it's very controllable and it, 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 all around it's just, this is a great disc now my other video i was talking about the star plastic my star dart i don't like the star plastic for some reason this one is more gummy it's got more grip to it but this is a point and shoot wherever i want it to go it goes and it it just nicely falls out of the sky you know out of the sky it really doesn't have a, a drastic fade to it but definitely worth your money um I love this thing. I really do. Uh, and real quick to point something out. I'm going to go back to the Wombat. Um, this thing, whether you put it on a Heiser or Anheuser, it stays there. So if I do an Anheuser throw with this, it's going to finish Anheuser. It's, it really won't fight its way out of it. Heiser, of course not. Same with this one. Well, on the, uh, in the video on the uh, Anheuser throws, it would finish Anheuser. Heiser would finish Heiser. So, last but not least, Champion Plastic Rock 3. And by the way, the, the Wombat is also Champion Plastic. This was the only one different. This is a Star Plastic. But this is the Champion Rock 3. Flight ratings are 5403. This is an amazing disc. I've made some really, really good shots with this. Um, this is one of three that I own. That's how much I like this thing. It goes and goes and goes when you put it out there. It's got some serious glide to it, and it also has quite a bit of fade. If you notice, when I was doing the Anheuser throws, this was fighting out of the Anheuser, pulling out, and then finishing left into its fade. I think almost on every one, on every one, um, it was it was doing that. And then the one shot uh, where the, the wombat made a hard right, I put this thing out up, and it just it, it flew perfect and kind of went a little bit like this, and then just faded, boom, very close to the chain. So very good feel to it. Um, I do like the champion plastic, but the Rock Three, this is a must have. All the pros have them. I think all the pros actually use every single one of these. But this this is a very, very trusty, dependable disc. I mean, they all are. The Wombat's still a little new to me. Uh, but the, the Mako, now I've had some bad throws with the Mako already. Honestly, I haven't had too many with this. It just works. And it's very forgiving, if that makes sense to you. So if... If I have a bad release somehow and it goes on a little 
Anheuser, it will fight out of it and, and, and pull back and fade like it's supposed to. Now, Heiser, of course, it's just going to stay on it the whole time. So every single one of these, definitely worthwhile. Definitely worthwhile. And I wanted to apologize, too, in the video, um, watching these discs go up into the air. It was very bright. And, yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> you lose sight of them. Uh, I tried to manipulate the settings. I wasn't able to bring them out without washing, you know, washing out the quality. So this is what it is. I mean, it's cool because you can see where they're landing. But when they get up into the sky, it was kind of hard to see them. So anyway, every single one of these, definitely worth checking out. Um, each one is kind of different in its own way. The Mako, like I said, straight flyer. It has a very dependable flight. You can depend on this one. I'm still getting to know this one, but from what I've seen of this, it's a very straight flyer. Um, it, it goes, it goes. A um, little bit more forgiving than the Mako. And of course this Rock 3, you cannot go wrong with the Rock 3. So, hope everyone's doing great. Hope you enjoy the video. Um, any questions, I guess, you can drop them in the comments. I know we're living in some crazy times right now, but, you know, lights right around the corner. We'll be out of this soon. I know some disc golf courses are closed down. Lucky for me, none of them around here are. So, once again, stay strong. Stay safe. Most of all, God bless. Day by day disc.